Hello friends, today I will show you how to use drag and drop in VB6. Select a standard form and uh, I will demonstrate here iPhone style slide and unlock. Uh, it is perfect example for using drag and drop. I will first uh, change appearance of uh, the label to something like iPhone have. So caption as slide and unlock, centered, a flat view, and the font style should be greater. So now I will change the font to the best as possible. Here we have largest as 24. Oh, it is not fitting well. So I have to change to some other font. Let me select my favorite Comic Sans MS and font 26. It is fitting perfectly. Now we have to add a command button. Uh, the the shape objects does not have drag and drop properties, so you can't use them. Uh, the few things that have is command button, picture box, and two three other things. So now the coding part comes uh, in the coding of uh, the command button here I will use mouse move uh, event here button refers to the mouse click buttons left or right so it is only applicable if the mouse if you uh, drag it with the help of left click, left click only. So if mouse, if button equal to 1 then ok for your better understanding I will use here button 1 is left and button 2 is right click ok now I will use end if here ok I in there is a spelling mistake here ok I will correct it here now use a drag command of command button 1 so for that type command 1 dot drag and action as vb begin drag Now move to the label in label section we will uh, use drag drop event drag drop event refers to if any source you are dropping on the label so the uh, then it should react like what we have to declare that in the coding section now if ok command but button dot left we can also use or you can use coordinates x and y the coordinates x and y are automatically change as you move your mouse over the label so for this is the ending code here if x is greater than 4000 then we have to exit out of the sliding window oh, I will not create another, another form here I will only use the button move movements here it is a basic tutorial so I will not go in the deep so here use a command source dot move x and y oh we have to only move x coordinates so we will not use y here in now else part we have to m move our command button to the initial stage so therefore we will, I will 
uh, initialize x is equal to zero and source dot move x. You can develop many logic here. So as you can see, uh, this blur effect is not happening in my previous project. Uh, it is probably due to the screen capturing uh, software. Uh, let me remove the caption I think it should go or not and I will put a line here so that it is it, it will be visually uh, the user can visually see from till where he, he has to drag the component so I will use command one dot drag and end drag here action as end drag because the dragging is finishing here so as you can see the line is per working perfectly fine but our object is going beyond uh, the label so we have to select the initial point as here you can see the initial point is 480 for x axis and 960 for y axis so I will use x equal to 480 here so now our code should work perfectly fine you can see it here thank you for watching tutorial goodbye